young players, we want to sell this game. Like yeah. we want to get out there. Have you know? Have you sensed that from uh, uh, the younger players that they're yeah they're ready have, to roll? We have a younger group of players. Right. Um, they're really appealing from a talent level. I mean, let's start there. That always helps, right? I mean, sure. they're just really great players. Right. Um, much more active on social media. You saw a whole group of them. I don't know if you've seen the second edition yes. of Let Let the Kids Play. It was fun. Um, really a lot of fun. And I, I think those players are important to the game, to the future of our game, to the marketing of the game. Yeah, I just, we, I, I love that kid. Yeah. He's Really, really clever, right? Um, and he's, yeah. That's a one way to. That's a, that's a yeah. good way to put it. Yeah, you know, Yelich as well. I mean, and he's raking starting the season. Yeah. Also, no. Look, I think that. Um, I think that to the extent that um, younger players find time again within this schedule, we've talked about the schedule a lot here already. But right. you know, when you play every day, it's harder. You know, you just don't have that much time. And to the extent that we have younger guys who are finding a way to get themselves out there, engage on social media, market the game, market themselves, build their brand, you know, their individual brand within this, you know, really grueling schedule that we have, that's a huge plus for us. Do you like bat flips when you see it? Yeah, I, look, I like the idea of players being able to show their emotion. Um, you know, I, I, I think that um, in, it gives the fan some insight into who the player is and, you know, however they demonstrate that emotion and commitment to the game, I, I, I think it's a good thing. The other thing, you know, I am a believer that the sort of unwritten rules of the game are the players. They belong to the players, right? They made them up. They enforced them, um, <laughs> you know, they did. And, and, you know, the fact of the matter is this generation of players is different and there's nothing wrong with them changing the unwritten rules in a way that I actually happen to believe is good for the game. Yeah, I mean, Harper's bat flip in particular was just a, what a yeah. dramatic night that was where the fans were just really giving him the business. The uh, Nationals Twitter account was giving him the business and then the Phillies uh, – Twitter account gave it right back when he bat flipped and hit the heck out of baseball. That you know, it's interesting. He, you have to give Bryce credit, right? He, he does seem um, to have the ability to come up big in a big moment. I mean, you saw it in the home run derby last year. Um, you know, it was a great moment. Uh, made our broadcast fabulous, great for the fans in Washington. And, you know, with all the swirl that you're referring to with him being back in yeah. Washington to do it again, you know, you, you just hats off to him. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.